This Lightning Ridge Black weighing in at over six carats is amazing. It actually rivals the most intense saturated potch black opal that comes out of Lightning Ridge. You're getting colors in here that you don't really see in black opal. You usually see them in bolder opal. You know when you get the blues and greens and the reds all coming together like pinpoint type of effects growing through the whole crystal structure of the ironstone. But it is not bolder it is black which makes it extremely rare it's full body potch all the way through it and the colors overlapping on top of each other you've got the reds the blues the greens the oranges everything coming out of this stone i love the way that cap florence has set this as well she has put a tremendous amount of diamonds around this piece it's a statement piece something you can wear every day if you love opal and it's a beautiful design aeronautically engineered to sit on your neck not flip not do anything but move with your body and you've got the legendary lightning ridge black opal i've had this piece for over 10 years and why i collected it is because it's the black canvas that mother nature paints on now what she did is she painted on this canvas and put all the different arrays of the rainbow colors on it when you see it on the neck look at the piece on the bust here you'll see all the different play of colors from all different angles when somebody's standing to the right they see something somebody standing in front of you they see something beside you they see something the colors change all around attractive rare unique and beautiful and that's what it really depends on a lot of gold it's a statement piece it's a significant piece and it is an heirloom gemstone please understand we do not see a lot of lightning ridge anymore here at the cap florence artillier these are all my collection pieces that i've collected over 30 years of going to lightning ridge and i watched lightning ridge go from 10,000 people mining and 30 years ago to around less than 200 people mining now so it's really the way it works in my world finite gems are mother nature produces only a certain amount when they mine out they are gone forever